Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back into my YouTube channel. It's me, Christian, and it's December 25. Merry Christmas to each and every one of you, especially sa mga um, viewers ko, sa mga subscribers ko. Uh, Merry, Merry Christmas. Hopefully that you um, celebrated your Christmas holidays with your family, with your loved ones, na sobrang successful, sobrang happy, and very joyous. So, and for today's video, upon uh, reading the title of this video and probably your research for it, we will be talking about how to apply um, for PNB TAP MasterCard in 2023. Now, I've recently made a video, I think it was four months ago, about the PNB TAP MasterCard, which is the one that I have here, and the features of it. So, um, upon reading, nga sa website ng PNB there are actually um updates about the um the account the savings account and everything so for that I will explain it and as well as ano nga ba ang mga updates ng um changes ng application ng PNB Top Mastercard now um this is actually probably one of the um, most um ask question dito sa, sa video ko at sa channel ko at maraming mga nag-PPM sa akin about the PNB Top Mastercard and I will be answering those questions as well dito sa ating um, video na ito. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and start. So, um, ano nga ba yung PNB Top Mastercard? So, like what I've said earlier, um, by the way, sa previous video ko, so the PNB Top Mastercard is it's actually a savings account um, sa which is in offer ng PNB or the Philippine National Bank dito sa mga Filipino na andito nga. So, um, I will be answering few questions as we go along the way para ma-explain ko din sa inyo. So, first question na sasagutin ko is, um, is anyone, uh, can anyone apply for the PNB Top Mastercard? Um, unfortunately, um, kasi hindi ko nabasa yung um, full um, terms and conditions na ng PNB Top Mastercard kasi may mga nagtatanong because may mga viewers ako na andun sa ibang bansa then gustong mag-open ng PNB Top Mastercard so dahil nga sa recent na changes and updates dito sa ating um, account sa savings account ng PNB Top Mastercard Right now, hindi available yung online application ng PNB Top Mastercard. Actually, before when naglaunch yung PNB ng Top Mastercard nila, pwedeng makapag-apply online. Just have to uh, provide your personal information and then proof of identification like um IDs. Um, more on that, and then isasend mo lang through um, online if ever na nasa ibang bansa ka or if nasa remote areas ka ng Pilipinas, which mahirap maghanap ng branches na pupuntahan mo sa PNB Top Mastercard. So, one of the changes and um, updates ng PNB right now is kailangan ng in-person na talaga na application nila sa branches, which is right now is kailangan mong pumunta na doon sa branch, any branch ng PNB para makapag-open ng PNB Top Mastercard. So, sadly, unfortunately, again, doon sa mga nasa ibang bansa o andoon sa remote areas ng Pilipinas which is uh, malayo na gustong mag-apply ng PNB Top Mastercard online unfortunately guys hindi na siya available to apply online so you need to go to a branch or you need to go to a um ang tawag natin dito, to a um, office ng PNB para makapag-apply ng PNB Top Mastercard so yun na yun yung um, bagong update ng PNB Top Mastercard Savings Account. Now, paano nga ba mag-apply? So, again, um, ang ituturo ko na explanation or um, process ng pag-apply ng PNB Top Mastercard Savings Account is doon sa mismong office or branch ng PNB. So, ano nga ba yung mga requirements? Let's start with the requirements. So, in different situation, iba't iba yung requirements. So, um, let's start first with usually kasi because it's a savings account so may mga students tayo na gusto mag-apply ng PNB Top Mastercard savings account kasi nga mag gustong mag-ipon okay so if you're a student um, all you need to do is bring um, your certificate of enrollment if currently enrolled ka and then yung school ID mo and that would be um, yeah, yun yung requirement nila if you're a student naman 
and you're under 18, all you need to do is bring your certificate of enrollment, your school ID, then bring a guardian with you which is 18 years old and above. Doon naman sa guardian na dadalhin nyo, uh, make sure na magdadala din sila ng ID. Um, like, um, if kapatid nyo sila, or tita nyo, or parent nyo, or lola nyo, or any guardian, magdala sila ng valid ID kasi ilalagay doon sa system na sila yung magtitake over or parang magtitake care sa inyo with your account as well. And then, um, parang yun. Kasi kailangan yun. If, that's, if you're a student under 18, okay? So, yun yun. If ever naman na hindi ka student or um, and you're below 18, um, yun. Pumunta ka lang sa branch, then ask them about um, the requirements. But sa nalaman ko is yun yun. Yun yun. Very simple lang nun. Uh, certificate enrollment, school ID. If you're a student, if you're under 18, bring a guardian with you along with your um, certificate en enrollment and your school ID. Now, paano naman sa mga unemployed? walang trabaho pero gustong magkaroon ng PNB savings account. So, ito yung gagawin nyo. Bring two valid government IDs. Now, ano nga ba yung mga valid IDs? Like, you feel health, um, um, yung national ID nyo, if ever na meron kayo, voters ID, um, postal ID, any of that. Bring two. Kasi dalawa yung hihingi nila. So, most of the question is, Ano nga ba yung pinakamadali na accept, pinakamadaling identification card or document at uh, yung madaling makuha na pwedeng uh, tanggapin ng PNB. So, pwede kayo magdala ng police clearance, isang copy ng police clearance, um, NBI clearance, voter certification. Yun yung tatlo na pinakamadali. All you need to do is kung police clearance, wala kasi yung um, pinakamalapit na PNP office, um, NBI, may, ma may mga offices, meron ding mga offices uh, ng NBI na uh, nagbibigay ng NBI clearance, um, voter certification, punta ka lang kayo sa um, Comelec, then tell them na gusto nyo yung mag, ang purpose na magkukuha kayo is to open um, a bank account. So, may, may purpose kasi doon. So, yun, bibigyan ka na ng copies. And then, before going to the bank, make sure na nakapag-photocopy kayo ng mga, ang tawag din dito, ng mga requirements na yun. So, yun yung mga pinakamadali. So, if you're employed naman, I think, nag accept sa ng company ID, then bring one valid ID then na government issued valid ID. So, yun. Yun yung mga requirements. And then, after that, ano nga ba yung gagawin? Pumunta ka na doon sa branch or sa office ng PNB, then tell them that you want to open the PNB Top MasterCard Savings Account. Make sure na yun yung sasabihin nyo. Kasi meron kasi silang ibang savings account which is mas mahal yung pag-open. I think there is um 3,000 ata yung savings account nila na parang regular savings account ng PNB. So, make sure na sasabihin nyo is mag-open kayo ng PNB Tap MasterCard na account, savings account. And then, bigyan ka nila ng form. And then, fill out the form. Then, uh, ibibigay mo doon sa teller na mag-a-assist sa'yo. Then, may mga questions sila na itatanong sa'yo. Um, kung para sa ako anong purpose, yun. So, magsisave kayo for allowance, nagtatanggap kayo ng allowance, ganun, ganun. So, yun. mag ask sila ng mga questions na ganoon. And then, um, after that one, um, they will give you an instruction. Kasi right now, one of the good things kasi about the PNB um, accounts, savings account sa PNB, I think sa lahat na kanilang mga savings account, um, even naman sa credit card or something ganun, meron silang online transaction. Um, we call this online banking ng PNB. So, um, they will be asking you a few questions, parang may form, then, then all you need to do is to give them a active phone number and then yung active email nyo. Kasi yun yung magsisilbing parang, um, anong tawag natin dito, um, access nyo, password or username para sa online banking. They will actually give you um, ang tawag natin dito, um, instructions about that. And as well as, I will make another video for that one kung paano nga ba i-access yung online banking ng PNB. Okay? And after that one, ano nga ba mangyayari? So, after you fill up yung form and then nabigyan yung mga requirements na maghihintay na kayo para dumating yung PNB Top Mastercard nyo. So, 
gaano nga ba katagal now this really depends na so if like me I am living in a city pero wala malayo kami sa main branch because nasa Davao City pa because I'm in Mindanao nasa Davao City pa yung main branch kung saan ginagawa yung um, ito yung debit card nila so by the way this is a debit card it's a savings account pero meron kayong eight, uh, debit card na ito card na ibibigay sa inyo hindi siya credit card again it's a debit card so Um, anong tawag natin dito? After that one, um, maghihintay ka. Now, kasi kami malayo kami, I think it's a five hours away from the main, um, from the main office, which is nasa Davao City nga. Um, it took about three weeks bago dumating tong PNB Top Mastercard. Now, paano malalaman kung available na? Yung binigay mo na phone number sa kanila is tatawagan kanila doon or itatext kanila na available na for picking up yung PNB card mo. doon sa branch and then um, may ibibigay kasi sila after mo pala na matapos lahat ng form may ibibigay sila sa iyo na parang slip yun yung ipapa ipipresent mo pag kukuha ka ng card after that one um pagkatanggap mo doon sa PNB card mo meron doong envelope and then may mga meron yung mga information and then andoon yung temporary pin code mo After nun, um, ma-receive mo, pupunta ka, uh, mag-i-instruct sila, pupunta ka doon sa ATM machine. So, doon sa ATM machine mo siya isi-set up. Now, kung nahihirapan ka because um, it's in English, tapos kung baka ayaw mo magkamali, you can actually ask for assistance doon sa security guard na nakabantay doon sa ATM machine. Now, sa case ko yun yung nangyari kasi ayoko nga mamali. So, ilalagay mo lang yun, i-insert mo lang yung card mo, then activate, then mag-ask sila doon sa temporary PIN code na nakalagay doon sa letter, doon sa kasama sa envelope kung saan nakalagay yung card mo. And then ilalagay mo yon and then itatype mo yung uh, um, yung ila yung pin code na gusto mo yung designated mo na pin code na gusto mong ilagay as your uh, pin code para password doon sa ATM mo and then after that one um it's totally okay na tapos na and then set up mo na yung ATM mo pwede mo nang malagyan ng pera now let's so yun yun pag-apply ng PNB Top Mastercard. It's very, very easy. Now, let's go ahead and uh, um, answer a few of the questions. So, let's start with magkano nga ba ang pag-open ng PNB Top Mastercard? Now, wala siyang bayad. Actually, wala siyang initial deposit. Ang um, kailangan na lang nila is around 100 pesos. Yun kasi yung ginawa ko. 100 pesos na ilalagay niya dito para ma-activate lang siya. It's like an activation din. After sa 100, andito na siya sa card mo. Pag gusto mong kunin yung 100, if available yung 100 bill doon after mo ma-set up, pwede mo nang kunin agad yung 100. There is no initial deposit and there is no maintaining balance. So, kahit wala siyang laman, okay? Kahit wala siyang laman, hindi mako-close yung account mo. But make sure that you have transactions within 6 months. So, para uh, nag-deposit ka or nag-withdraw ka, may activity lang siya para hindi ma-dormant. Ano yung dormant? Yun yung... Um, walang activity so kino-close ng bank yung account just make sure na may mga every now and then ganun ganun kasi sa akin um, hindi ko naman siya usually na ginagamit as parang nilalagay ko kasi I, ha- I have a different payroll account um, card na kung saan pumapasok yung sahod ko but um, before kasi ito talaga yung ginagamit ko but now ito yung ginagamit ko pag pay ng mga bills so later on pag-usapan natin yan so yun yung means of transaction ko dito para hindi siya madormant so ayun And there's no initial deposit. Again, wala siyang min, uh, maintaining balance. Now, let's start with... May nag-question kasi sa akin dito na meron daw 10,000. Kailangan mo ng maintaining balance 10,000 para daw magka-interest. Yes, it is true. Pero, hindi siya compulsory. Meron silang 10... It's actually an advantage. If meron ka ditong pondong 10,000... sa minti as dito sa account mo as your min parang hindi naman siya kasi maintaining balance parang nilagay mo lang siya dito parang saving mo magkaka-interest siya ng I think 10% per year so within the year pag meron kang 10,000 na nakalagay doon for every 10,000 na laman niya is um Uh, sorry, pag meron sa minimum na 10,000 is magkaka-interest siya. But again, hindi compulsory na lagyan mo siya. If ever lang na meron kang 10,000, doon lang siya mag interest So, I just want to clarify that one kasi may nag-comment na na hindi daw totoo na, may, na walang maintaining balance. Again, wala siya maintaining balance. It's just that kung meron kang nakapondong 10,000 doon, 
na yon yun yung min- yung minimum na 10,000 yun yung magkaka-interest kasi um, again the money that we put in the bank um, ginagamit yun ng bank para makapag mag- magpa-loan doon sa mga gustong mag-loan sa bank parang give and take so dahil naglagay ka doon bibigyan ka din nila ng percentage doon sa nilagay mo which is yun ang ginamit nila para sa i-cater yung mga customers and clients sa gustong mag-loan doon sa bank that's how the process goes but again hindi po compulsory na lagyan nyo ng 10,000. If ever lang na mayroon kayong 10,000, sana all may 10,000 doon sa bank nyo. Within the year, doon siya magkaka-interest ng $10. Okay? So, yun yan. And, um, ano pa nga ba? Um, let's talk about um, paano nga ba mag, uh, ano nga ba yung mga gamit ng PNB? Now, this top MasterCard is very, very um, helpful sa akin. Kasi, like what I've said earlier, ito talaga yung ginagamit ko. And until now, dito pumapasok yung sahot ko sa YouTube. If sa mga hindi nakakaalam, ito yung gamit ko. So, um, kaya, nakakatanggap ako ng sahot dahil dito, dahil dito ko nilalagay. Now, that would connect to our um, question. Na, kasi maraming mga nagtatanong din, pwede ba silang makapag, makatanggap ng pera doon sa... Um, galing abroad, yes, this can um, receive uh, money remittances from outside the Philippines. If you're in Asia, in America, in Europe, in um, Africa, kahit nasa ibang planet ka pa, Charing. kung kahit sa ang parte ng mundo, PNB is actually a major bank and it can, yes, it can receive transactions, remittances from other countries, hindi lang dito sa Pilipinas. Like what I've said, um, dito pumapasok yung sahod ko sa YouTube and yung sahod ko sa YouTube is actually from Singapore. Kasi dito sa Southeast Asia, yung magwa-wire transfer o yung magbibigay ng sahod mo doon sa bank mo is nasa Singapore yung office nila. So, nakakatanggap ako ng sahod. And again, I have also tried this with my sister na sa US. So, if ever na nagpapadala siya sa akin ng pera, so ito yung PNP Top Mastercard ang ginagamit ko para makapag-receive ng remittances. Now, ano nga bang magandang benefit? Since this is a debit card, you can use it to any ATM machine. So, meron nga lang siyang fee, parang 15 pesos or 15 to 18 pesos. It really depends on the bank. 15 to 18 pesos kung gusto mo mag-withdraw sa ibang bank um, na hindi PNB. So, in any bank, pwede siya. And then, it's actually a MasterCard nga from the name PNB Top MasterCard. So, it's widely used all over the um, the world. So, kahit wala ka sa Pilipinas, if you are in um, America at gusto mong gamitin ang card mo, pwede mo siyang gamitin kasi na maka, naka-mastercard na siya. And then, ano nga ba yung mga purposes na, uh, ano nga ba yung mga gamit ko dito? Um, if I shop on pen shop, in any clothes store, kung saan ako bumibili, um, Watson's, department stores, in any um, restaurant like Jollibee, um, McDonald's, KFC, lahat na nagtatanggap ng MasterCard or ganitong card, debit card, you can actually pay for them. So, yun yun talaga yung maganda. And also, pwede ka rin mag-transfer once you got to um, connect your PNB savings account to your online banking, the PNB online banking, you can actually transfer money sa PNB papunta sa GCash, which is now the most used dito sa Pilipinas na money sending app. So, pwede mo siya makonnect and vice versa from GCash to PNB then mag-check mo yun lahat doon sa online banking. Talagang maganda yung online banking ng PNB at hindi siya nagda-down system. I will be, again, I will be making another video for that one for online banking. Iba yung online banking at online application, okay? Yung online banking is just an online access doon sa account mo para makita kung pumasok ba yung pera na dineposit, nag-withdraw, yung mga pay na bills mo, deductions, kung ano-ano pa. Again, yun yung online banking. Kasi may mga nagtatanong, Ah, hindi ako makagawa ng, hindi ako makapag-apply, di ba online banking siya? Again, kailangan mong gumawa muna ng account, uh, mag-open ng savings account bago ka makagawa ng online banking. So, online banking is just an access to your account. I just want to make clarification on that one kasi madaming nagreklamo doon sa past video ko. 
So, ayun. So, that's it for this video. I will be making another video again. Kung may mga nakalimutan ako, please don't hesitate to comment down below so that I can answer them on my next video. And then, yeah. So, kung mayroon kayong mga suggestions or comments uh, about this video, about this topic, just comment them down below because I will want to make to read them as well para masagot ko sa next video. Again, um, Merry Merry Christmas to each and every one of you. Again, I want to thank for the whole year of um, supporting and subscribing to my YouTube channel. It really means a lot to me. Hope that you enjoy your vacation, your holiday vacations. And then kung saan ka man sa mundo, Merry Merry Christmas uh, from me, Christian. And then um, if you haven't subscribed to my, to my um, channel, please do subscribe. Give a like, a comment, and then ring notification bell para ma-update kayo sa mga future vlogs. Go. And that's it for this video. Hope to see you soon on my next vlog. Bye!